Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel Travel Wonderful. Hello my wonderful people, how are you? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Venezuela. In this opportunity we are in the Hacienda La Calceta which is pretty much a countryside place in which you can enjoy these beautiful waterfalls and also you can enjoy swimming pools, restaurants, drinks and very beautiful hikes as well. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you like this video and remember to leave a comment below. Enjoy the video! Travel Wonderful. Hola, ¿cómo están? Apreciados seguidores, estamos acá en Hacienda La Calceta y es un placer tener con nosotros a Giovanni y a Jody, que están tomando esas fotos con nuestra hermosa guacamaya, quien es Paquita, una de nuestras atracciones acá. Gracias por visitarnos. Gracias. Thank you. <laughs> See, we got different kinds of animals over here. We got here a beautiful monkey, which is very cheeky. Earlier on, he took a beer from my friend. <laughs> It's very, very friendly. We had a guacamaya as well earlier, which is a national bird of Venezuela. <laughs> but he left already. <laughs> got a lot of people here. Also, we got people doing the horse riding and also going in the motorcycles. So yeah, really nice experience here at the Hacienda La Calceta in the Carabobo State. So right here you can do different kind of activities and one of those activities is go to the waterfall which is called Waterfall Mariposa which is butterfly in English. Uh, right now we're gonna go over there, Water, Waterfall Mariposa which is 1.8 kilometers. But in the meantime we are enjoying the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful landscape over here at the Hacienda La Calceta. I got to say that the attention is very good so pretty much Everywhere you go, they offer you if you want drinks or anything you like. I got to say that the price to enter over here is $10 per person. And obviously they open you like an account and you can order drinks and you can pay at the end of the day. However, I got to say that it's pretty cheap. I got to say that $10 US dollars to come and enjoy this beautiful nature, mountains, swimming pools, waterfalls, everything. It's pretty good price. Um, the cost of one beer is roughly around 1.5 US dollars so pretty decent price to have a very cold beer over here with this beautiful nature so right now we have started our hike to go to the Mariposa waterfall to the Cascada Mariposa they say it's roughly around 30 minutes to go over there they recommend sports shoes however I didn't bring any I just got my sliders but it's okay, I was telling people that if you manage to do with sliders to go up to the Angel Falls, you can go pretty much everywhere you like. So yeah, let's start doing this uh, hike to this waterfall here at the Hacienda La Calceta. Enjoying all this beautiful nature, which I pretty love. I love nature. So it is roughly five minutes since we started this hike to the Cascada, the waterfall and everyone we have seen so far they say Wow it is still so far, so far uh, You are just at the very beginning um, Well we are not tired but we can see that it's a little bit challenging because there is a lot of uphills But let's see how much further we can go But so far we are enjoying, we got some beer as I said before, it's 1.5 US dollars. And we had some guys that walk past us and they say, well, if you give us some beer, we do it even faster. <laughs> very, very funny. Oh uh, yeah, let's see. We are still enjoying this beautiful nature here at the Hacienda La Calceta. Our friends, family. So look at this beautiful mountain full of nature, lot of green, a lot of trees. Very, very beautiful. We just asked some people and they said they still roughly around 10 more minutes to arrive to the waterfall. But we are trying our best. We got some friends that are a little bit tired, but I don't blame them. It's really hot. It's roughly around 30 degrees or more <laughs> right now here. I got to say that Venezuela is always a really hot weather country. Um, they keep saying, oh my God, that you should have brought more beer <laughs> because uh, it is really hot and you still have a lot to walk. But I am enjoying myself. Look at all this beautiful, different kind of nature. Right now, I got to say that the sun is even hotter than the usual. 
but maybe it's because we are doing some you know like exercise walking a lot but i am enjoying myself as i said before if you do the ng falls you can do pretty much anything <laughs> We got here a Pozo de los Niños, so I guess it is because it's a bit easier. It means that it's like for the children. So look at a little bit of that area over there. So pretty small, but we are almost there, almost arriving to the main waterfall that we want to go at. So yes, I got to say that it's not super difficult. I got to say that the challenge level is roughly medium, I got to say. But obviously, if you are not used to do exercise, to go to the gym, to walk a lot, it might be a little bit challenging. I am okay, but I got to say a few people from the group I'm currently at, that is struggling a little bit. But obviously, if you're not used to walk a lot, you're going to feel it, especially because it's really hot. We didn't bring any drinks. I mean, the beer that I had is already finished. And obviously, you got some uphills and downhills that are challenging because you are in the nature there is no like human made you know like path everything is nature so it might be a little bit challenging but we are doing it so yeah let's go let's go <laughs> So after roughly 35 minutes of hiking, trekking, suffering a little bit, we have arrived finally to the waterfall La Mariposa, La Cascada Mariposa, which is one of the main attractions here at the Hacienda La Calceta. And it's very beautiful. You can uh, relax over here, have some swimming as well if you wish so. So it's very beautiful. You have a very, very nice contact with the nature over here and obviously my recommendation is that you do it slowly slowly because for some people they might be used to this if you're not used to this it might be a little bit challenging so definitely take your time while you do this whole hike to arrive to here to the butterfly waterfall but as you can see we got a few people over here that are just enjoying themselves relaxing and enjoying the beautiful view of the waterfall. So I came with my family and some friends. Uh, some of them are really tired, but I don't blame them because if you're not used to this, it might be a little bit challenging, as I said before. And I'm about to go inside in a minute or two to see what it's like, the water over here. I've been told it's very cold. Um, you need to, you know, wait until you cool down a little bit before you go inside because you are obviously very, very hot while you are doing the whole hike. So you need to cool down a little bit before you go inside. So I just entered to the waterfall and I got to say the water is a little bit cold, but once you enter, it is very delicious. I got to say that these are one of the bonds of Venezuela, all the beautiful nature. So let's go inside the waterfall. <laughs> very delicious, very therapeutic, so if you have any sort of pain, you want to have a relaxed time, come here to the Hacienda La Calceta and to Venezuela in general because it has so much to offer, uh, beautiful beaches, beautiful nature, waterfalls, angel falls, the rockets, national park Morcoy, that you can see everything in the channel. So nice, so nice. Very, very refreshing. And I think so that you can drink this water because it's water of Manantial. So, very delicious. So, so nice the waterfall over here. Very beautiful. And also very, very refreshing. After you do all the hikes, you go here the reward. You have this very, very refreshing water which is very, very delicious. It feels cold at first, but once you are a few seconds, it feels very delicious. So it's definitely a different kind of experience. So apart from doing some exercise, you are having a different kind of journey than a beach or anything else. As you can see, people is relaxing over here. <laughs> really, really cool. That was all our experience at the waterfall butterfly, waterfall mariposas here in the Hacienda La Calceta. <laughs> we are going all the way down again. 
doing all this beautiful hike among nature and we're gonna get eat probably something because we're a little bit hungry so i got to say that the way back is a little bit easier than the way up so yeah let's go so that was all our experience at the waterfall butterfly waterfall uh, mariposa so it was really nice very beautiful and now we are doing all the hike back going all the way down i got to say going down is a bit easier than going up but still take your time there is no rush but we are a little bit hungry so once we go all the way down we're gonna find some food which is also another feature from this place which has several restaurants bars for you to enjoy so we just arrived back from that very beautiful but tiring hike to the waterfall and look what expect us here this beautiful nature i saw even turtles over there these really nice dogs as well uh, we are waiting uh, the rest of the group to come back and then we're gonna have some lunch over there we in which they serve traditional venezuelan food and in the meantime we order some beers to refresh a little bit from this hot weather but so far the experience it's been so good so there is a really nice restaurant over here that we're gonna eat now which is called Apalusa and it serves typical Venezuelan food so we're gonna wait for one table here on the outside to enjoy a little bit of the pressure on the outside they got also a restaurant of sushi on the other side but we want to eat Venezuelan food in here in Venezuela obviously um they said that even if you want sushi you can order it here as well and they're gonna bring you from the other restaurant which is just a few meters from that one so pretty convenient so let's see what the food is like so we just had a little bit of a snack here at the restaurant apalusa uh, we had tequeños of hojoto and traditional tequeños which is something very typical in venezuela pretty much everywhere uh, as a starter or as a snack and also a small cachapa which is made of sweet corn and you put cheese on the inside very very delicious and now we're gonna go to the area of the swimming pool to continue enjoy here at the hacienda la calceta it has an area of volleyball in which people is playing or also small football field and basketball as well and we're gonna go to the area of the swimming pool as well or if you just want to relax you can sit over here while enjoying this beautiful day here in La Calceta in the Carabobo State in Venezuela and here we got the swimming pool which apparently is of a uh, natural water so as you can see people is just here enjoying themselves having a little bit of relaxing time by the swimming pool and a little bit of a fountain as well over there so really nice something different to do and it just costs 10 US dollars to access all these beautiful areas of the Hacienda La Calceta and apart from the animals we saw earlier like the monkey and the guacamayas we go here avestruces look how beautiful they are you need to be careful to not be so close to them because they might try to pick on you well so beautiful you can enjoy them from here very beautiful avestruz i leave you the name here in english because i cannot remember right now what it's like in english but avestruz is the name in spanish they are really fast actually i saw them running earlier and they're really really fast it's very important to note that they also got a hotel inside here so it's like a small posada just like a small hotel that has like the features of a small medium range house very beautiful so you can stay here i don't know the prices but i'm gonna find out i'm gonna tell you here below how much it is yeah very very nice so if you want to spend the whole day here plus a stay you can do it got all this beautiful nature all these flowers these hamacas on the side as well and i guess you got the rooms over there and this amazing field all oh, this very big field for yourself if you're staying here in the hotel posada of the hacienda la calceta so i can see that they go like different sort of names for each one of them this one is called saman and i can see a little bit of the room it looks pretty big 
on the inside. I don't know how much it is, but I guess it should be not so expensive. Uh, yes, you stay here apart from spending the whole day. Uh, you relax as well after a very long day here at the Hacienda. So this has been all for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching as usual. Please do not forget to leave a comment below, give a like and share this video. And I will be seeing you in the next adventure. Travel wonderful.